Let us design, implement and simulate one Boolean function using PSPY software. So, here we are considering a 4 bit input Boolean function. So, here the Boolean function will have 4 input lines. So, let they be A, B, C, D and one output line that is our F is the Boolean function output. So, as we are having 4 input lines, so we will be having 16 different combinations. So, ranging from 0 to 15. So, 16 different combinations are there and this is the respective output. So, that is 0, 1, 1, 0, then 0, then 7 times 1 and then 4 times 0. So, we have plotted the same here on the kernel map to get the respective Boolean function. So, 0, 1, 1, 0, then 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 and then 4 times 0. So, 0, 0, 0, 0. We have done the covering and this is the respective Boolean function coming out from the kernel map. So, here I require 7404. I require a bar, also I require b bar, also I require c bar al along with d bar. So, 4 not gets I require and then we require to do the ending 7408 and here we require 7432 for ordering. But in our piece by software we are having 3 input and gets also. So, in, in this case I require 3 input and get, 3 input and get I require, 3 input and get I require, I require 2 input and get. So, let us go for the next slide for the circuit construction. So, this is the respective circuit. So, 3 input and get we are having 7411. So, 7411 is triple 3 input and get IC and I am having 7408 in the piece by software that is 2 input and get IC. So, this is the 7408. So, 3 inputs, 3 inputs, 3 inputs and 2 inputs are there and here we are having 7404. So, to get the respective uh, knots for the from A to A bar, B to B bar, C to C bar and D to D bar. So, here we are having 2 OR gates and there is a final OR gate because we are having 2 input OR gates. So, that is why I required 3 OR gates here and there is the output. So, these are the parts that is 7404, 7408 to input AND gate, 7411 that is a triple 3 input AND gate, 7432 to input quadruple OR gate IC, ditch stream for the input and this is our if out for the output and Carnot map we have shown here for the better understanding. So, actually you are going to implement this very Boolean function we are going to implement. Let us go for the simulation output now. So, this is the respective simulation output whatever we are having here. So, this is our A that is the MSB. So, for 8 uh, for eight combinations it is having a low and next 8 combinations it is having high. So, A B. So, for 4 combinations low for 4 input combinations high then low and then high. Then C, C is this one for two combinations it is low then high, low and high in this way and D is the LSB. So, it is oscillating between low and high respectively and this is my respective output. So, we had 0, 1, 1, 0 then 0 and then 7 times 1 and then 4 times 0. So, we are getting the output accordingly. So, in this way the simulation can be done. But to have the better clarity on this subject on this implementation of boolean function let us go for the practical implementation of the same. So, here is the practical implementation of this boolean function using PSPY software. Here the boolean function is a bar c bar d plus a bar b c plus a bar c d bar and a b bar. So, we are going to implement this circuit. So, I require 3 input and get the IC number is 7411, 3 pieces. So, piece number 1, 2 and 3. I require 2 input and get 1 piece. I require uh, 3 2 input or gets. So, IC number is 7432. And to get A bar, B bar, C bar, D bar from A, B, C, D respectively, I require 4 not gets are there. So, these are the total parts I require. Obviously, I will be requiring the if out for the digital output and this stream 4 pieces for the digital input for A, B, C, D. So, let me do it in front of you. So, ditch stream. So, control R for rotate. So, I am having this. 
changing the labels. Now I'm just bringing the respective gates there as we planned 7411 input triple and get IC so I'm bringing this one for four pieces for three pieces rather then I shall bring 7408 I require it one piece then I shall go for or get that is 7432 I require the digital out giving a label connecting them so the first product term is a bar c bar d so a bar c bar d so let me put that bar at first that means let me bring the respective not gets 7404 is the not get IC number control R for rotate Now we shall go for A bar, C bar, D. So I'm bringing D at first. A bar will be here. C bar will be here. So A bar, C bar, D I have implemented. Now next one is A bar, B, C. Next one is A bar C D bar. So let me go for checking once. So it is uh, D that is my C bar that is A bar. This is my C B and A bar. So it is my C B and A bar. Okay. The last one is a bar C D bar so I've taken D bar I've taken C I've taken A bar the last two input and get will be requiring A B bar so B bar I'm bringing here and A I'm bringing here so my circuit has got completed I'm just putting one rectangular box to indicate that this is the main circuit and inputs are there outside and outputs are there outside so now let me put my voltage levels so putting this one here
again I'm putting so voltages levels have been put so these voltage levels are there so now we are going to have this you see 7404 there is a gate number A now let me let me put it as gate number B because if all of them are having one input and two output then I cannot make, make the circuit ready So here we are having three input, triple and get. So I'm making this one as get B because I'm having only three options and such gets I'm having only three here. So let me go for get A, get B, get C respectively. And you can find that the pin numbers are also changing accordingly. The pin numbers are also changing. So now this is my and get I require this one only one piece. But here I shall make this OR gate with the gate B. A has been used earlier already. So I, I shall be making this one as grade C. So if I refresh, you see this is my total circuit. So I am going to uh, imp uh, simulate the circuit now. But before going to that, let me go for the this parameter setting. So period, so period is 1 millisecond, I am making this one as 0.5 millisecond, this one. So 1 millisecond, 0.5 millisecond, apply, okay. For this one, I am getting this one for, that is for D again, it is coming. So now let me close it, let me open this one again for C. So for C, I am making this 2 millisecond and 1 millisecond. So I am just increasing the period length so the frequency is getting half in that case saving them now for b for the input b there is a 4 millisecond and 2 millisecond again i have increased this period by two times and the last one is our input a and here i have made 8 millisecond and 4 millisecond okay now this timing i'm making this one as zero second or zero millisecond same if i make this one as eight millisecond then you see you can find all the 16 combinations that is that is our zero 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 one zero zero one zero if you go on proceeding in this way that is one zero 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 one zero zero one one zero one zero one zero one one and last one is 1111. So in this way, if we have this total span of 8 millisecond and 1 millisecond will be the division, then in that case, I shall be having not 1 millisecond, it is a 0.5 millisecond division. Then I'm getting all the 16 combinations here. All the 16 combinations because 4 bits can have 16 combinations. So I have completed my circuit. I've done the labeling of the outputs. The circuit construction has been completed now let me go for simulate so i can press f11 or i can click here for the simulation of the circuit if you see the respective truth table if you can find this is my output output is there to bring this output i had to do one thing let me show you that i went to the analysis setup and then transient I can have this 0.5 millisecond and 8 milliseconds so that I can get all the 16 combinations going for okay closing this one so now let me simulate this so the outputs are coming accordingly you can find and my output is the last one so the last one is my output so we are having this we are having this one so it is 8 millisecond so it is proceeding in this way you can click here so that is our user defined 8 millisecond so 0 second to 8 millisecond it is having this okay now you can find this 
it is 0 1 1 0 that was there in the truth table and then 0 1 1 1 that was also there in the truth table then 1 1 1 1 that was also there in the truth table and then 0 0 0 0 so the corresponding the truth table the boolean function has got implemented you can check that that you are getting the required output here and this is my input combination 16 input combinations so 0.5 will be the step and here we are having 8 milliseconds so that means 0.5 milliseconds and 8 milliseconds means we are having 16 combinations here and for which this output has been labeled and portrayed properly so my circuit will be working well and it has been tested and simulated please leave your comments in the comment block if you are having any kind of doubts if you require any kind of clarifications please share with us and thanks for watching this video